Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing this. DeWalt String Trimmer. So summer is now in full swing and uh, I received a nasty gram from uh, my local government saying that my grass is not looking great. And I was like, what are you talking about? My lawn looks great. And they're like, no, 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 over here. Turns out I have a section of side yard that I tend to forget about. So, I can't really drive a lawnmower up on there. So, uh, I was like, I need a weed eater, I need a string trimmer, something like that. Well, DeWalt has come to the rescue today. Today I got the DeWalt, uh, it is the model DCST972X1. This is the latest edition of string trimmers from DeWalt. There is another one that's quite similar, I think it's the 970X1, and that is a 15 inch instead of a 17 inch, and then it does not uh, take on the attachments, where this one, this one actually works with other attachments like a chainsaw, hedge trimmer, edger, and leaf blowers. So I, uh, I caught this guy and uh, picked it up, and of course, because you never buy DeWalt full price, come on now. I was able to land a deal for a free nine amp hour battery with the purchase of this string trimmer. I found that deal at Ace Hardware. I don't know if that deal's still gonna be going on today when you see this, but I'll link to this on Ace as well as on Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so using those links do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you, while the Ace Hardware one is just gonna be an Ace Hardware link. Enough of the talking, let's start with the unboxing. All right, and our first look, there it is. Actually pretty simple package, not a whole lot of extras going on here. We have our uh, guard and some other and a handle. We got our six amp hour battery that is included with it right here. Oh no, this is another nine. <laughs> oh man, you get two nine amp hour batteries with this guy. This looks like a, a standard DeWalt charger. I now have like six of these. I'm gonna have to do something about that. And then we have our uh, string trimmer uh, motor end. And this is the head. Luckily it came with some string because I don't think I have any string yet. But uh, there we go. This is actually really lightweight. Let's go ahead and start the assembly on this guy. Got a couple of books in here probably telling us in a few different languages how to do it. We got our handle. This is kind of nice. It's a uh, rubberized grip handle with some cool texture to it with multiple locations to grab on. That's really nice. And then we have our guard here um, with our cutting edge there. Looks pretty standard to me. And we got hardware in the bag here as well as the tool to use it. All right, let's see if we can do this without the instructions because I'm a man, right? <laughs> let's go ahead and start by just throwing that right there. Oh, that's definitely not gonna be right. This is gonna go there to protect me, right? <laughs> I can see on the inside here there's a nut. So, without instructions, I'm figuring it out still. I'm sure it would have told me if I had the instructions. So there's our head. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. And on this, the bottom is what comes off. You can put your up here, handle there, get the bottom back on. Put our screws back in. Before I tighten it down all the way, let's uh, let's get this all the way assembled. Cap off the end of this guy here, I think. There we go. You can see there's a little drive gear there. Also, I don't think I showed you a good close up here of the uh, handle. Alright, let's put this guy together here. And. Looks like there's uh, multiple locking pin uh, positions for the pin. Um, you got it straight on this way, or 
and you can also rotate it here or here and that might depend on your tool like hey you know what this tool I actually want to be able to operate it at this angle but uh, let's go ahead and install that just in a standard situation there tighten down our wing nut there and then let's see pull this back a little bit a little bit more so what I'm doing right now is getting this to balance to where this is just below the weight of our motor I'm going to have to bring this quite a bit back there we go right there look at that you see that balance here if I hold this it balances itself right there that way when I'm down here I'm not having to do a whole lot of effort with this hand it's all just this hand holding it in place and then this hand is driving so now we're gonna go ahead and lock that in place like that go ahead and install our battery here for the first time check the battery oh battery is low we only got one bar let's see what we can do with that but uh, let's go ahead and start it up nice that's it well that's funny oh you know what the battery really throws off the weight on this guy look at that let's just our handle there. Man, that is tail heavy with that big 9 amp hour battery. So I'm going to have these as close together as possible, it looks like, just to keep it at an even close to comfortable weight for myself. Alright, so that first test was in low mode. Let's go ahead and switch it into high mode. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's uh, go make a mess. All right, you guys, let's see if we can clean up this mess. making quick work already. <laughs> glasses are a little dirty but wow that made quick work of all of that uh, just got a couple of volunteer trees in the back there that'll come back here with some pruners and clean that up um, geez I cleaned it up quick it'll make upkeep a whole lot easier in the future but uh, holy cow this guy is uh, a tool to behold a couple of things that uh, stood out to me though after the testing um, is this is heavier than I anticipated. This is probably equal to like a commercial weed eater weight, if not more. So this, if you're like, you know, an average everyday homeowner, this might not be the one for you um, unless you're looking to continue investing in your DeWalt lineup of tools. I am a big fan of my DeWalt tools, so the yellow really uh, draws me in. However, I'm not totally impartial. I was seriously considering like the Ego brand and a lot of other ones that are out there. I think the other one that really caught my eye was the Makita performs very well in online tests. Go ahead and check out the review from Project Farms. He actually talks about this 
weed eater and compares it to a bunch of other ones. And that's kind of how I made the decision on this one is because of the torquiness of this one is one of the reasons I really wanted it. One weird thing for me is the safety. Like you already have a safety switch here before you pull the trigger, but the safety switch has a safety switch on it. <laughs> so it's a little annoying. Let me go ahead and show you right here. You can see there's a safety switch here that you have to pull out before you can push that down and pull the trigger. You can't push that down and you can't pull the trigger unless you push that forward first and then pull the trigger. Um, you do have your high and low speed. We kind of demonstrated that in the in the beginning, but I'll be honest, uh, just like a chainsaw, I never run a weed eater at part throttle. It's always full throttle all the time. There are very rare situations when you'll use part throttle, like around a uh, chain link fence or a corner, you might use part throttle, but everywhere else, I'm running full throttle all the time. Overall, it feels like it has a very sturdy and solid construction. It's not gonna be flimsy or breaking at all. This feels just as solid as any commercial string trimmer I've used or worked with. So I think this will be a great tool to have in the arsenal uh, of uh, lawn care equipment in my garage, but also makes it versatile that I can switch it out for more things. So in the future, I might consider adding uh, other things like the leaf blower, the, the stick edger, and the hedge trimmer are the ones that really stood out to me. I don't really need a chainsaw where I'm at right now, but you know what? The nice thing is, is you can always buy it later. All right, you guys, I think that's a pretty fair test for this DeWalt 60 volt brushless string trimmer. And it did better than I anticipated. In the past, I've worked with uh, string trimmers that were new. About 10, 12 years ago, there were string trimmers just barely coming on the market that had like extension cords, things like that. And they were woefully underpowered yeah they could keep up if you like went out twice a week and string trimmed your yard yeah it could keep up with that just fine but it's not going to do anything power like i just did today with that whole side of my yard it would have stood no chance but this guy took it on and was like i'm ready for more the only thing i ran into is the starter battery uh, when it was delivered wasn't completely charged uh, the only thing i would ask for is more time on this guy because it is fantastic powerful and it kind of gets me excited to cut my grass even more <laughs> which is weird because I don't have a whole lot of it here like I was mentioning the, uh, the old ones were woefully underpowered but this DeWalt brushless motor has plenty of power to handle whatever we need to throw at it the previous model the 970x1 it does technically have more torque but this one is more capable where it does have this section here that you can undo this wing nut here and then remove this guy and swap it out for any tool you want, whether it's a chainsaw, leaf blower, stick edger, there's tons of other options. Whereas the other one, it only had the string trimmer option. The grip is actually really comfortable. They did that very right. Well, there may be a lot of things that weren't done perfectly with this guy. You know, right now I don't have any complaints other than like I might put a thicker string on here. I'll probably change out the line. This will take up to 0 0.08 uh, inch line. Overall, do I recommend this one? Yes. Yes, that's an easy yes. It has tons of torque. You saw it taking down big fat chunks of stock of things. Um, it took out that whole overgrown rainforest in my uh, yard. <laughs> And it was super easy to put together and ready to go out of the box. So all we had to do was slide this on, put in the battery, attach our handles and our guard, and it's ready to go. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this guy on Amazon. And if you have questions, leave those in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer those. And if you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.